Well, I would definitely spend a lot of time getting to know the person and then also spending time with their family. That seems a little weird. I sometimes bump ideas off of my spouse. I, I know Mark probably does with, with his as well. Well, we're all friends, so I'm I'm gonna I'm speculating, I guess, that we don't make our decision because of our spouses. Uh, we make our business decisions um, because of what Mark and I are doing and our vision for the company. Um, but it, it's definitely good that our, your families are aligned too. It seems kind of weird. So I would, yeah, I mean, like the character of th that person, you need to have a lot of alignment there uh, personally as well as business, just because there's so many business decisions you're going to make based on your personal choices. Before you get into, um, before you actually get into it, so let's say you find that person you're dating and, and you, and you think, oh, this might be a good fit for us, then then you got to kind of get engaged, you know, and really start talking through, um, you know, the legal aspect of it, you know, how is this partnership going to work? What's the ownership stake? What's the investment um, from each partner? And especially if you're going to merge two business together, because the value of those businesses could be vastly different. And then, and then, so figuring that out, how those decisions are going to be made, um, who's going to do what roles kind of thing, you know, the operations of the company. Um, to me, that would be the second most important thing to, you know, rehearse those a little bit, uh, create a budget, together. like work on your budget, see if, see if you can come to that alignment um, on something that's difficult. I mean, that kind of, yeah, the, you get the discussion of, you know, what, how, how would the financial aspect work or what percentage of the business are you going to own and what's the buy-in look like and who's going to, am I coming to the table with money or is, is this like a pay-as-you-go situation? So just understanding what those, what the buy-in steps are going to look like and then the valuation of those companies. I mean, Zach and I, um, we both independently had uh, his company evaluated. Um, so we had to find middle ground within all of that. And so... Um, and the fact that, I mean, that, that was a big encouragement, the fact that we could, could find that middle ground, you know, I mean, um, if, if somebody's too hard nosed to stick to their guns and to say, no, this is what it is, it's gotta be this. I mean, that's going to be a pretty telltale sign of how that decision-making process is going to go as a partnership too. So when Mark and I were talking about the valuation of the company and anytime that we're talking about valuation of a company, the the, mer the um, coming to uh, an agreement on it was easy, fairly easy for me because I saw the value in where Mark and I were gonna go with the company. And I feel like Mark probably did too. So the, where we sold the company, when we, when we had our partnership, you know, that isn't the end game. And I think when you're going into a partnership like that, you need to realize that this isn't about cashing out your chips. Um, I didn't sell Mark 40% of the business at the high valuation that my accountant came out with. I sold it to him at a, a, a median between the two valuations because the, I mean, we wanted it to be fair, but I, I was investing in the future of my company and Mark was investing in our future too. And we both realized that. And if a person, if you're negotiating that and you can't come to agreement or the negotiation seems really hard, you're gonna have those problems later. You know, when we have those moments, we we have no problem uh, coming up with a number and figuring that out because we did the hard negotiation easy, you know, it, the, and it wasn't hard for us, but we did that initially. I think those would be, those are red flags. If you're having problems just figuring out your roles, figuring out what your responsibilities would be, um, you know, things like that, then you're definitely going to have animosity and, and hold, hold, you know, some, you'll do the scorekeeping thing, <laughs> which is, which is a nightmare for relationships. So.